great to be with you. Facebook, Tony Katz Radio. Man, the State of the Union really does expose the rift in America. The rift that is flat out unnecessary, the rift that is manufactured because the Democrats yesterday, in their response, that was wholly manufactured. The sitting, what what some wanted to call stoically, it wasn't stoically, it was it was almost insanely sitting there, unwilling to applaud, unwilling to clap, unwilling to smile at the most basic of comments and conversations. Unemployment is down. Nothing. Black unemployment is down. Nothing. The story of, of American heroes, the story of, of people and the human spirit. This, this, this man from North Korea who, who lost his leg due to, due to hunger and falling asleep on train tracks and, and now has uh, in America and, and leads the, this life, nothing. I mean, really nothing. And even if they did stand for even that, it was so obvious of all the things they didn't stand for. They didn't cheer for. They didn't clap for. And it was all manufactured. Their hate to President Trump so complete, so in, uh, so total that they couldn't applaud, even if they wanted to, because their base, so vicious, so ideological, so rigid, so hateful, so out of their skull, wouldn't allow it. Remember, Chuck Schumer shut down the government for three days, then said, all right, no more. The government's open. And they went to his house to protest. This hurts in 2018. John Gabriel, uh, the editor over at Ricochet.com, uh, wrote about this last night about President Trump's State of the Union triumph and saying that whether Trump heralded the stock market employee bonuses or the destruction of ISIS, glowering Democrats remain the evening's most consistent theme. And that's a good word uh, for it. Um, it's understandable for progressives to sit on their hands for conservative jurists, the Second Amendment and cutting regulations. But again and again, they fumed at the very at America's very success. And then he writes, let a thousand midterm campaign ads bloom. Democrats don't understand even the game they're playing anymore. They are convinced that hate and hate alone will get them back into the White House, will get them control of the Senate and control of the House. They are built on negativity from beginning to end. This is them in total. This is what they're about. Campaign ads? My goodness gracious, I'm running a fire sale right now. We only charge three grand an ad. We'll crank them out one after another there. You're, you're a member of Congress. You're a member of the Senate running. Uh, you're running in a primary. Oh, we got you covered. We got three grand an ad. We will just crank them out for you. All I have to do is show these people, these Democrats, sitting down instead of cheering on America. This is their bet. This is their bet. Their bet is on hate and vitriol and disgust of Trump over all things. It's an ugly way to go about a life. And this is exactly what they've chosen. The proof was right there in front of you for the State of the Union. And it's going to hurt them in 2018. I'm Tony Katz. Let's begin. Let's talk about your relationship. I can't stand all these wild.